Well you guys, in this video we're going to be talking about sprocket and chain alignment. Alright guys, I got emailed from a guy who had just bought a go-kart and he was saying that once he starts driving it the chain falls off. Now he sent me this picture asking me if I knew what could be wrong. Well, obviously no, because that picture doesn't show me anything. So I emailed him back and told him to take pictures, a straight on shot of the rear end, the alignment of the sprockets and the chain, and then a shot from the top down looking at his setup. So he emailed me back and showed me these two pictures, okay? So we've got this picture from the rear end and then we have this picture from the top down. And looking at the picture from the rear end, it was a little hard to see, but when I enlarged it and looked at it, I realized that by looking at the points of the teeth of the sprocket and drawing a straight line down through the sprocket and then drawing a straight line across where his axle is at, you can see that the alignment is off. See how that is? Well, then I looked at the top of the chain, looking at the top of the, the top down picture, and I noticed also the same thing was wrong. Looking at his shaft on his engine in relation to his axle, you can see that those are also misaligned. Those should be parallel. The sprocket and the axle should be at 90 degrees. Now the sprocket and axle thing, I don't know what happened there. Maybe he bought it and the people who owned it prior to him hit a rock or something and bent the, a bent the sprocket. Or maybe they just welded it on crooked. But the top down picture, looking at that, he could fix that, at least the top down picture, by realigning his engine. When that happens, when your sprockets and your chain are not lined up right, what happens is, is the chain starts to ride crooked. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but see how the side of this sprocket is worn? You see that? That's because the chain wasn't riding straight on this sprocket. The chain was riding at an angle. That's what will happen to your sprockets if your alignment is bad. Most of the time, it will happen on the smaller sprocket. If your chain's misaligned with your sprockets, what will happen is, is as you start driving, you'll hear a, a, a ka-chunk sound. A It'll be that kind of sound that'll be coming from the rear end. If it's a continuous sound, then either you've got a real bad alignment or your chain's too tight. Now let's say that you have everything all set up and everything looks lined up. And you take and you have your chain connected to your engine. If you grab your chain and you squeeze your chain together and your engine moves closer, because what happens is when you deliver power, when your engine is running and you're trying to deliver power to your axle, What's happening is they're trying to squeeze together. Now if, when you go to squeeze your chain and your engine does move a lot, then make sure you check your engine mounts, where your engine is mounted at. Make sure your bolts are tight, make sure your, make sure your engine's all aligned right. Now if it is moving, then chances are one of the welds have broken underneath the mount or on your support bars. If you have a setup where you have a plate and you have your engine on that plate and you have a single bar running straight down that's bad because your engine once it starts to deliver power your engine will tilt that steel will have a flex to it so you're going to want to put cross bracing in there going side to side like a big plus symbol or if you have a have a setup kind of like this where you have two bars and then your bolts go into the engine then you really don't have to worry about it that way I've gotten a lot of questions over the years where people were saying, yeah, my chain is making this weird noise when I start to drive and I don't understand what it is. 
Most of the time, it's alignment. Make sure you look closely at your alignment of your sprocket in relation to your chain. Everything should either be parallel or everything should be at 90 degrees. And that even applies with your torque converter or your jack shafts or anything else. So there we go, you guys. Make sure you pay attention to your alignment, 90 degrees or parallel on all your setups of your power transfer to your engine or to your axle. And I'm going to end this video with some romping that we did on Easter Sunday. So I'll talk to you guys later. Subscribe and post a comment down below. Bye-bye. Awesome. Keep going. Remember, you have to go faster. Go faster. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, the pedal got on there. Ready, set, go. Come on. Go fast. Keep going fast. Oh, almost made it that time. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. Go fast. Come on, push down on those pedals and go. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Don't look. Keep going. <laughs>